Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to set up Bloodborne on PC using Shad PS4 BB Launcher and the required patches for best performance. Just follow the steps carefully, and you'll be able to play the game smoothly. You can find all required files and download links in my Discord server, so make sure to join from the link in the description. Make sure you downloaded all the files, and after download follow these steps. Step 1. Install required runtimes. First, extract the folder named Visual C Runtimes All-in-One. Open the extracted folder and run install underscore all dot bat. If Windows shows any pop-up, just click Yes. This will install all the required runtime files. Once it's finished, move on to the next step. Step 2. Set up BB Launcher and Mod Manager. Now extract the BB Launcher and Mod Manager folder. Open the extracted directory and run BB underscore launcher dot exe. If any pop-up appears, click OK. Step 3. Download the emulator build inside BB Launcher. Click on Manage Build. A new window will open. On the right side, under Downloadable Versions, select Pre-Release. Click Download Selected Version, choose any folder and start the download. After the download finishes, a Version Manager window will appear. Make sure the pre-release checkbox is enabled under Build Information, then close the window. Step 4. Prepare Game and Update Files. Now make sure you have both the Bloodborne Main PKG and the Update PKG downloaded. Move these files to any folder you like. Go back to BB Launcher and click PKG Extractor. Click Browse and select the main Bloodborne PKG file. For the Game Output folder, click Browse again and create a new folder named Game Files. You can create this folder inside the emulator directory. Click Extract and wait for the process to finish. Once it's done, click OK. 
Extract the Update PKG Open PKG Extractor again. Select the Bloodborne Update PKG file and click Extract. When asked to apply the patch, click Yes. Wait until the update finishes installing, then click OK. Now return to BB Launcher. Click Browse for the Bloodborne install folder. Select the main game folder, not the one with dash patch in the name. This is very important. Next, click Shad PS4 Settings, Game Specific. If it says no config found, just click Yes. Enable Shader Cache, then select your dedicated GPU. If you don't have a dedicated GPU, select your integrated GPU. Now go to Game Specific, Experimental Settings. Set additional memory allocation to 8,000 megabytes. Click Apply and Save. Click Bloodborne Cheats and Patches. Go to the Patches tab and make sure it's set to Shad PS4. Click Download Patches, then click OK. From the list, enable these options. Disable Chromatic Aberration. Disable Motion Blur. Enable 60 FPS. Now this is very important. If you are using an Intel 12th Gen or newer CPU, enable the Intel 12th Gen Plus SFX workaround. If you don't know what your CPU gen, then just come to your This PC, right-click and select Properties Options. A window will appear where you see your CPU gen. If your CPU is older, do not enable this option. For resolution, 1080p is default. If you want higher resolution and already set 8000 megabytes memory, select only one resolution, like 2K. Click Save, then OK, and close the window. Install Vertex Explosion Fix Mod. Now click Mod Downloader and click OK. You'll be redirected to Nexus Mods. Fill your Nexus credential. If you don't have, just create and then fill. Click Authorize. The Vertex Explosion mod will be selected by default. On the right side, choose Vertex Explosion Fix and click Download. After the download completes, the mod installs automatically. Click OK and close the window. Activate the mod. Open Mod Manager. Select Vertex Explosion Fix and click Activate Mod. Close the window. To use a controller, click the controller icon. Your controller will be detected automatically and buttons will be mapped. You can edit any button by double-clicking it. Click Apply and Save. Finally, click the Play button. The game will launch in windowed mode. Press F11 to switch to full screen. And that's it. Bloodborne is now ready to play on your PC. Enjoy the game and happy hunting. Thank you for watching the video. If this guide helped you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more guides and gameplay content. If you face any issues or have questions related to the setup or the game, feel free to join my Discord server. I'm always happy to help and discuss anything related to gaming. See you in the next one, and happy hunting.